In this worksheet called Autofill, we want to show you one of Excel's easy to use features it's called Autofill. It's going to allow us to quickly fill in cells with date and time like information. Now, let's say we want to put in the first six months of the year across the top here in row one. We'll start by typing January. And we don't even have to complete the entry. At that point, we can point to the lower right hand corner that's called the fill handle and put the mouse pointer right on that corner, hold down the left mouse button, and drag to the right. And as we're doing this, we see some pop-up information suggesting we're gonna be getting the other months as we drag right over into column G and let go of the mouse. And now we see the other months out there. If you prefer to use abbreviations, you might start by typing J-A-N. Maybe that's good enough. And then we can drag from the corner to get the abbreviated entries instead. So we can do that. Now, these work in a variety of situations, and although we wouldn't want to use them in this worksheet, I want to point out that if we have entries in a column, suppose we want to put in months downward, we can drag downward this way, see what's happening. As I scroll downward, we can see some more too. So anytime you drag downward or rightward, these entries move ahead chronologically. There could be situations where you want to drag upward, rarely, but if we drag upward here, we're going to get May and April. And similarly, dragging leftward. You usually don't do this, but occasionally it's gonna work for you. If you use abbreviations, they must be three letters. We can't use SEPT as a starting point. You can use any month here as a starting point, by the way. Usually it's gonna be January. And we no longer need these, so let's just get rid of them. So I'll highlight all these cells here by clicking and dragging, and then pressing the delete key. Now, in different situations, not in this workbook, you might wanna do the same kind of thing with days of the week, so just a quick reminder here. And again, you might start with Monday or Sunday, but then spell it out or use full spell, you know, abbreviations as you wish, three-letter abbreviations. We can drag from the corner downward or rightward as needed to get the other days of the week. And when you're working with numbers, sometimes uh, you'll need to create some series too. So occasionally uh, you might want to create a series. How about 10, 20, 30? If you put in two numbers, two starting point numbers, highlight both of them and drag from the corner, you can create a series that way too. So there are techniques for putting in successive entries. And there are also things you might want to experiment with using times of day. I'll just give you one example here. If we put in 8 colon 0, 0, and then below it, if we put in 8 colon 1, 5, this is the way to enter times. You can highlight both of these, drag from the corner to create a series that way. Now, as it turns out, we will not need these, so I'll get rid of these as well to highlight the data here and simply press delete. So autofill gives us a quick way to enter monthly information, months of the year, days of the week, also with certain other kinds of numeric entries. It just makes life easier in Excel when you've got these techniques available.